Now, I don't want to continue the console war or anything, but... Nah, I'm just kidding, but the Xbox and PC Game Pass this month is absolutely popping, so let me show you everything that's coming to it shortly. We've got some incredible day one releases and also some indie games sneaking in there amongst them. So let's go ahead and start it off with Grizz, which is coming to both the PC and Xbox Game Passes on the 5th. Even calling this a game is difficult because honestly, it's just akin to art. And I don't just mean in the way it looks, even though it does look absolutely stunning. You'll be playing as Grizz, a hopeful young girl who is lost in her own world as she deals with painful experiences in her life. Luckily for her, she happens to have a magical dress that manifests her feelings and grants abilities to navigate her now faded reality. It's a serene journey all about looking at the world in a different light after sorrow. And with no death or danger to be found, it's a peaceful experience of platforming and gorgeous views. In short, it's great. The Bethesda Space Rodeo that sees Fallout escaping its irradiated wasteland by jumping into the stars is set to come smashing into the Game Pass on day one. Probably don't need to tell you too much about Starfield, seeing as Bethesda and Microsoft have enough marketing budget to probably black out the sun with a billboard if they chose, but it'll see you venturing off to more than likely do general dickery and mass murder amongst a thousand planets in the studio's first truly unique IP in 25 years. Bethesda has a lot riding on this release, and by the time this video is out, it will have already dropped. So tell me, how's it looking in the future out there out of curiosity? Solar Ash is another lovely indie game which released in December of 2022, and now it's finding its way to the Game Pass on the 14th. It's a very well received game with a steep little price tag, making it a perfect addition to the Game Pass. It's from the creators of that other really great game called Hyper Light Drifter, and it's set amongst a ruin-filled, surreal dreamscape that you'll be skating your way through as Ray, a void runner that's on a mission to save her planet from the Ultra Void's hunger. It's got grotesque monsters to fight, rails to grind, heights to climb, and enormous bosses to fell amongst its highly stylized visuals. It's an action game at heart that's not only well worth checking out, but also sure to keep you well and truly entertained. Liza P is one of this month's biggest releases for me personally, and luckily for ye Game Pass havers, it's coming on day one on September the 19th. It's a Souls-like through and through, and has clear inspirations from Bloodborne. It's a twisted retelling of Pinocchio that'll see you fighting deadly puppets through a dark Belle Epoque world. It looks to innovate on the Souls genre through a neat weapon combination system, along with giving the players a choice to lie or tell the truth, which will impact the various endings of the game. I sat down for this game's generous demo, and if you enjoy throwing your balls into a meat grinder, sit down and play this one. Speaking of games I've had the pleasure of playing a demo for before their release, Party Animals is also gracing the Game Pass on day one, which happens to be on the 20th. It's a Gang Beast style drunken physics sandbag slap fest, wherein you'll get to beat the ever living heck out of your friends as various cute fluffy animals. I don't know what we've been feeding these crazy ass animals, but they are beefing with one another hardcore in an all out war. It's playable with four people locally and up to 20 online if you just want absolute chaos to to go with your MMA animals. Speaking of absolute chaos, Payday 3 is yet another big day one release on the Game Pass. Seriously, this month has absolute bangers, and I don't just say that because you'll be blasting your way through vaults and the entire United States ammunition supply on your journey to secure the cash. Payday 3 is a four-player heist game that is a sequel to probably the best co-op shooter out there. Hot take? No idea. But it'll see the legendary Payday squad stepping out of retirement to pull off the perfect heist, which always somehow involves hundreds of casualties. I guess they're all just style points. It's a fast-paced first-person shooter through and through, and if you want action, grab three of your pals and get blasting. And lastly, we have an absolute treat from the lead gameplay designer of the absolutely excellent indie titles Limbo and Inside. It's called Cocoon, and it's also coming day one to Game Pass on September the 29th to both consoles and PC. It seems to be a unique take on the standard puzzle adventure game that'll see you breaking your brain and jumping between worlds which exist in a series of orbs that you can carry on your very own back. It looks really neat and promises to bless us with intricate puzzles and cosmic mysteries aplenty to solve. If the previous titles this developer has worked on are anything to go by, oh my god, I can't wait for this one, it might just be amazing. But I won't hold you up any longer, thank you so much for watching, and as per always, I'm Fizz, your local game dealer, and I'll see you again soon.